Hello, everypony! Welcome to a special edition of In the Closet with your host, Corpulent Brownie, and special guest, Twilight Sparkle! Okay, so every little thing she does was a fun episode chock full of adorable ponies doing adorable things. And of course, we can't forget that angry Twilight Sparkle. She's quite a cute, huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But overall, I dislike the episode. And why? I mean, it's not just Spike's continued back talking to his betters, which he really needs to get a hold of. I mean, Spike, come on. Shut the fuck up, sit down, and listen, okay? But also, I, I think this episode really brought into focus um, what I sort of dislike about Starlight Glimmer and what has been bothering me this entire season about her character. She really changed the role of Twilight, of course. Um, Twilight became, you know, a student learning about friendship to now being this teacher who sits usually on the outskirts of things and she's trying to teach Starlight Glimmer about friendship. But the real, the real problem with this is that the way Twilight Sparkle learned about friendship and the way that Twilight Sparkle is teaching Starlight Glimmer are both entirely different approaches. Okay, Twilight Sparkle learned through experiential learning. In real life, Twilight Sparkle was forced into making these friendships with other ponies. She didn't have a choice in the matter, really. I mean, she sort of did, but she had to do it. And um, Starlight Glimmer, on the other hand, is really... A lot of it seems like it's really forced. Like, these whole friendship lessons that uh, she's being forced to go through by Twilight, it's like... This makes no sense at all. Twilight was never assigned a friendship lesson by Princess Celestia. Instead, Twilight naturally discovered them as she went along, and she wrote to her mentor about them in the beginning. And, you know, we, we know how all that progresses. But instead of that, the, the very few real-world, um, you know, experiential learning that Starlight is experiencing is not... It's not like spur of the moment like Twilight's was. Instead, it's... It's very much forced. You know, Twilight will put her into situations, like uh, in the premiere where Twilight put her in the situation to make up with her, I don't know, her long lost, I don't know, kid friend, uh, that, that, uh, that sun pony or whatever, I don't even know what it is, Starburst, yeah, or something, you know, the, the, the candy pony, you know? Um, she forced him to do that, or, or she forced Starlight Hey, you're gonna go out there and you're gonna make a friend. Of course, Starlight ended up making friends with Trixie, as we all know this season. Um, but all of these things were forced upon her and they just didn't just happen. I mean, when Twilight walked into Ponyville, um, Celestia did say you should make some friends, right? But Twilight never tried to make friends. You know, the, the friends sort of came to her. Um, you know, it was Pinkie Pie who first freaked out and and started throwing her a party, and it was Applejack who invited her over to the uh, to, to dinner or lunch or whatever at the apple farm. These were not planned experiences. Celestia didn't come down beforehand and say, Yo, Twilight, I want you to be making a bunch of friends, yo. No, it, it just sort of happened, you know? It, 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 it was, and Celestia didn't come down and say, Hey, AJ, you know, there's this pony gonna come to town, her name's Twilight Sparkle, I want you to show her your time, okay? That's not how it went down. So really, I think that it's unnatural to see that Twilight would go about trying to teach Starlight in such a radically different way. And who knows, maybe this is where the season is progressing towards. Maybe we'll eventually, Twilight will learn that, hey, you might want to like loosen the reins a little bit on Starlight and let her experience these things for herself. Uh, which is much the way that she learned. I don't know. Well, I guess time will tell, right? But really, that's why I don't like Starlight Glimmer. And in fact, this episode sort of, you see at the end that uh, the friendship lessons um, weren't at the end forced. Starlight didn't even know she was having them, right? And Twilight had to point out, oh yeah, you just had a bunch of friendship lessons, yo. Um, which to me says, not only should Starlight have learned from that, but Twilight should have learned something from that. Um, and it wasn't really shown in the episode that she did. Twilight just sort of sat in the back like, hey, I am knowing what's going on here. I've been in charge all along, and that's really not the case. Now, that's not the only reason why I disliked this most recent episode. 
there are plenty of other reasons why, okay? And I want to go down some of them for you. Um, okay, the spell naming. Okay, that, that pissed me off. That, to me, reeks of a writer who has no idea what's been going on in other episodes of the show. If you've watched any of the episodes up until now, they've never used these strange pseudo-Latin names for spells. They've always been real-world, real names for spells, like a transfiguration spell, a teleportation spell, which they do use at the beginning, right? But then Starlight goes on this weird tangent with all these crazy-sounding spells that sound like they're straight out of the pages of Harry Potter. And, and I gotta be honest with you, that bugged me. That bugged me a bit, because I don't want Pony to become some sort of weird Harry Potter uh, show or anything. And, and I, I think naming the spells the way they're trying to name them in this episode was dumb. And Mr. Vogel, I really gotta ask you, what the fuck are you thinking, bro? Um, there was another, this might sound a little nitpicky, you know, but there's that, uh, let me look this up, I wrote this down, okay? The Faguchi Compella spell, okay? This is just an example, by the way, of how dumb these names are. The Faguchi Compella. Um, right. The spell uh, required a trigger word, remember? And Starlight gets up and says some stupid-ass trigger word, or trigger phrase. But the phrase is basically, listen to me. Nothing in the phrase is, you must obey me. But for some reason, the, all the ponies take that trigger as, I have to do exactly what Starlight says. To the point where I can't even have my own opinions without getting the okay of Starlight Glimmer. It, it made no sense to me as far as a logical, looking at the magic in a logical perspective, which you wouldn't normally do because it's, hey man, it's magic, right? right? The fact that they're naming these spells, the, fa the way that they started showing the spells, the way that they were making this all seem logical, would lead one to believe that the um, actions of the spell should also be logical. And this is, again, the, the stupid hole that they're digging for themselves by trying to make this all of a sudden seem a lot more like Harry Potter when that's never what the show's been like. They've never used these stupid-ass Latin names, okay? I'm sorry. It, it, that, that just triggered me. Also, what the fuck is a moon already? They mentioned moons in this episode so many times. Hey, you guys know, if, if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, I've done a whole series on time in Equestria. And the one thing I did say in that series was, don't even try to touch what a moon means. And I didn't even try to define that. As far as I'm concerned, a moon should be a month, right? But the way they were using it in the episode, and the way they've used it in the past sometimes, makes it sound a whole hell of a lot like a year. Or even more than a year. And it's never really been defined, and that, maybe that's just a, you know, for me, it is a little nitpicky as well, but maybe that's just, you know, to keep things funny. I, I, I don't know what they're doing. Um, I'm just trying to come up with an excuse for it, really. I don't have one. Oh, God. Okay. The last thing about this episode that really sort of drove me nuts was the resolution. I thought the resolution was quite sudden, right? Um, Starlight Glimmer basically mind-raped her friends. Her supposed friends, by the way. She literally mind-raped them. She got into their minds and made them do things that they didn't want to do. This is a serious fucking crime. I think in any society that had magic somewhere inside of it would understand and recognize that this type of thing is not to be taken lightly. You don't just say, oh, you learned a lesson. <laughs> oh, you said you're sorry. Oh, 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 thank you so much for saying you're sorry. All's forgiven. There's no restitution to be paid. There's nothing, you know, you've got to do to make it up to us. There's no building of trust over time. Even Starly Glimmer, when she was a villain, didn't do this type of shit. Okay, she did try to brainwash them, right? She put them in that room and did all that shit. But she did not go into their heads and make them do shit they didn't want to do. She didn't mind rape them. But in this episode, she mind rapes them. Serious shit here. And all she's got to do is apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, please forgive me. I've been such a bad pony. Oh, spank me. Well, you know, like, what the hell, yo? Ah, uh, uh, that drove me nuts. It's a silly ending, and it's way too sudden. For the actions that she took in this episode, they deserve at least some sort of punishment. 
Something. I mean, she should get at least a year in Tartarus, right? Am I crazy? I want you to tell me. Am. I. Crazy. Am I. A raving. Lunatic. Please. Tell me. I need. To know. The truth. Already. What. The fuck. Am I. <laughs> well, that'll do it, every pony. I appreciate you for tuning in, and again, I really do want to hear what you guys think. So be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know. I'm sure Twilight's just ready and raring to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day, every pony. Twilight, you've been good. There you go. There you go.